we've got some serious business to attend to. Yesterday's Xbox briefing had crossplay, Halo Wars 2, and a DVR for the Xbox One. And you at home had plenty to say about it when you tweeted using the hashtag Xbox Gamescom. Now we're sitting down with Xbox head honcho Phil Spencer to follow up and answer some of your burning questions. Are you ready for these, Phil? What exactly is a honcho? Well, head you! Honcho. You are the epitome of a head honcho. <laughs> I know. Welcome to our show at Gamescom. This looks great, right? Yeah, Brilliant it's fantastic. Food. Yeah, the work we've done with the dailies, bringing uh, the Xbox news to the fans. We did it at E3. It's great to be starting in here at Gamescom. It's uh, really great. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, we announced backward compatibility on the stage E3. Yeah. In fact, you announced it. Massive cheer. How did ridiculous. that feel for you? Yeah, it was. Uh, I've said this. You know, the people they were they turned around and they looked at the monitors, so they actually knew what I was going to say <laughs> before I said it. Spoilers. And the crowd just went ridiculously. I mean, it, the passion of the fans, the fans that I've met uh, starting at E3 this summer. I was at Minecon. I was in China Joy last week here at Gamescom, I mean, our, our Xbox fans, I think, are the best, and they've just really raised the energy of everything that we do. You've done so much traveling, you are in all the time zones <laughs> at once. But yeah, speaking of backward compatibility, three million votes cast by our community yeah. for the titles they want to see on Xbox One. That's a great way to connect with our fans, right? It is, and uh, you also saw on stage the third-party publisher support that we're giving, and we look right at that list that people are voting up on uh, what games they want to see in back compat and make sure we go into the publishers and getting their support. And the support we've seen from the third party publishers has been really great, really great. So November's the launch of back compat. We'll have hundreds of games there uh, and bring in hundreds and more. So it'll be, uh, it's really nice. All right. Uh, we talked about Windows 10 a lot yeah. in the briefing yesterday. Tell us about Windows 10 and why that's important to Xbox gamers. Well, first, you know, we had the launch of Windows 10 last week, and uh, we had 14 million people like right out of the gate upgrading. The numbers just continue to fly, and really great response from gamers around the features in Windows 10. And for us, as the Xbox group, we look at gaming on Windows and gaming on console. We know our customers play games on both places, and we want to make sure that we're putting the right games in front of people working on things like DirectX 12 and Xbox Live across both platforms, really connecting the community of gamers so they can play the games they want to play with the people they want to play with wherever they are. Now, we're at Gamescom. Yeah. One of the reasons I love this show is that it's a gamer show, yeah, right? absolutely. 400,000 fans coming through the doors uh, this weekend. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, and it gives us a chance to speak directly to our fans. We did a lot of that yesterday. Yeah. What did that mean to you? Yeah, the fans are, are why we do what we do. I, I've been in this job for a little over a year now, and definitely the direct feedback, either through Twitter, uh, through events like this, just getting on Xbox Live and playing games with people has been instrumental in the way that we drive what we're doing with Xbox. We know that gamers want to play games. They're some of the most passionate people on the planet about their art form that they love. Uh, and us staying connected with the gamers is critical to our, our success with Xbox. It's really foundational to everything that we do. Uh, and I appreciate all the feedback they give. I, yesterday, it was pouring down rain here in Cologne, and I went out and spent time with the people in line to get into our briefing. And, you know, they just are, are happy and tell you what they think. It's, it's, it's really the, one of the best parts about this job. All right, so all this summer, we've been showing what we believe is the greatest games lineup in the history of Xbox. Of the games that we've got coming up, this is a tough one. <laughs> are you going to well, make me pick a well, game? I'm going to make you pick a game. <laughs> Pick your favorite child. Which game are you most excited about in the lineup that we've got coming? Well, you know, if I look historically at the games that I play a lot, uh, Forza Motorsport will be right at the top of the list in terms of, I'm just, I love racing games. Uh, that's what I'm playing a lot of right now, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, watching, you know, they've added weather, so now we've got water puddles, and I'm, I was running Nurburgring actually in the rain in my uh, press room today. Uh, incredibly technical, and uh, it, it's just you know it's really great to see Turn 10 and what they've been able to deliver. But I'm with you. Like I think the lineup of games we have this year is really incredible. The studio has stepped up. Halo 5, I thought looked just, and I'm, another game I'm playing a lot of right now. Uh, looks great. Fables coming, Gigantic coming, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. The demo that they have of Rise of the Tomb Raider here behind closed doors is, is fantastic. It's a really strong lineup. Uh, and we started to show more of our 2016 games, uh, and the response from gamers has been really fantastic. It must have been a thrill for you as a Halo Wars fan to reveal <laughs> Halo Wars 2 as a surprise at the end yesterday. It right? was. Having Bonnie come out, you know, I love that Bonnie opened our E3 show. She was the first person that people saw on our stage. She was the last person people saw on our stage here at Gamescom. Now, Bonnie's been somebody I've worked with for a long time. But Halo Wars, uh, a franchise, I love the first version of the game. 
And now, you know, when you think about a, a, a genre that can exist on console and on Windows, and all the opportunity that we have there, and we found a great partner in Creative Assembly with a long history in creating great real-time strategy games. It was the perfect opportunity for us. So when we saw that, you know, jump and you know, another 2016 game coming on top of the the games that we've already announced. Great. Phil, I'm going to let you go. I know you're a busy man, and I want to give you a chance to get ready for our boat party tonight because I want you on <laughs> the that boat, boat party. Thank that's you right. so much. <laughs>